What is up guys? Flame here. Today I'm going to be going over a few things about this update. So, it's kind of going to be a buyer and beware. That's actually what this video is, buyer and beware. So anyways, so let's get right into this video. So basically, first off, we're going to start with the car I'm driving. I'm driving the LG Custom. And, you know, it's basically, this skyline right here is based off the R33. It's actually a mix of R34 and R33, but they're kind of like equally, but I think it's more the R33. Anyways, though, we're basing it, and this car is in the sports section. Now, it seems to be pretty fast. It definitely looks nice. They put two vinyls, or decals, whatever you want to call it, in um, the Benny shop for it, and they're both from the Fast and Furious. Now, obviously, they put more than two in, but I'm saying they put two from the movies. So, from so you got this one that I'm driving right now, Brian's. You could buy that decal, and they also have um, the one from Fast and Furious One. If you ever watched that, the yellow R33. So you can make your car into which goes both ways. <laughs> LMFAO both ways. Anyways, I'll be rating this car. Um, it is 904,000, I believe, to upgrade it. 900 to 904. It's one of those. I'm not sure which one, but it's definitely you get the car for free and then upgrading it's 904,000. Now it doesn't stop there. That's just to get it to the custom version. That's just stock, no upgrades. Upgrades are expensive for this car. It's also expensive to fix. So roughly after customizing it all the way, I would put you at about a 1.5, 1.6 million dollar investment on it on the skyline. So that's probably where you're going to be depending how good far you go. So if you don't go too far, you just want to do the basics, I'd say 1.3 mil all the way up to maybe 1.6 mil. I mean, I don't I'm trying to think, but overall is it worth it. This car right here, mm, yeah, it's worth it. It's a very fun car to drive. You can do a lot with it. I do think that it's worth it. But on the other hand, you have the brand new Lamborghini. Now, if you're a tuner guy like me, I'd recommend the Skyline just because it's a fun car to drive when you're looking at the turbo gauge and stuff. It's just really cool. It's like the Salton RS, but the new version. Um, damn, I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, though, so do I recommend buying it? Yes. But for your money, I would, um, I'd recommend buying the brand new Lamborghini. It's called like the, uh, it starts with a D. I forget the name of it. It's the brand new, it's the Pagasi. Let's find it on here real quick. To Pagasi Temesta, that's it. Pagasi Temesta, the new Lamborghini. It's based off Benino, and it's a very nice car. Fast, sleek. I don't have any complaints with it. It's only 1.2 million, and for that price, it doesn't have all kind of major shit you gotta worry about. Like, oh my god, I gotta customize this dad at Benny's. No, and it's faster. It would smoke the skyline. I mean, no doubt. So, do I recommend that over the Skyline? For your money, yes. If you're going for, you know, a fun car to drive, if you're really into that tuner shit like I am, then get the Skyline, but the Lamborghini definitely overtakes it, I think. Like, if it was me and I was really broke, I mean, I'd probably get the Lamborghini. I don't know, though. I like the Skyline. If you're a, if you're a speed guy and you like those high-end cars then get the Lamborghini. If you're like me though, I actually probably would get the Skyline if I was broke. Just because like I like it more. So if you if so like on my perspective, I'm pro I'm like the type of guy I'd be like, well I like the Skyline, it's gonna be cool to drive around, you know, even if it's not as fast. But nevertheless, um that's it. So yeah. Do I recommend the Skyline? Yes. Do I recommend the Lamborghini? Yes. They're both good fits of money. But if you had to choose between the two, I'd probably go with the Lamborghini now now that I got both of those out the way they're actually good to buy um, let's go this car right here is I believe 5.5 million it's the kit car do I recommend it totally if you have five million dollars to spare and it's not gonna really like murder you and make you bankrupt definitely get it because this thing saves my ass a lot like we can get in this real quick like the interior is amazing it has uh, homing rockets in it 
Um, they're nice. They kill anything. They'll even lock on the helicopters if it's within range and shit. So the interior is really nice. You know what I mean? It's a dope car. Got missiles, machine guns on the front, parachute that comes out of the top if you're you know falling or anything. Plus you can jump real high in the air because it has like springs or whatever that jump you up. So would I recommend this? Yes, it's definitely worth the five million. The Rebels only 1.6 million, I believe, or 1.8 or something, or 1.5, one somewhere in the one millions. Is it worth it? 100%. You could have you got so much fun with it. It's the boat Rebel. Goes on land and water. Has a 50 cal on the back. Recommend it. You and your friends could be cruising through the water, fucking army style. Not really army style. I don't know how to explain. It's not an army vehicle. You guys could be purging in the waters though, because with this vehicle right here, having more than 50 cal, be cruising through. I mean, hell yeah. Plus you can go on land and fuck them up with the 50 cal. I mean, it's a great vehicle overall. I would recommend it to anyone, especially with its low price. Rockstar definitely priced this one reasonably. I definitely like it. Now, this one right here, this is like a $3 million Boxville armored truck thing. Um, the looks of it, it looks spectacular. It looks like a purge slash zombie outbreak vehicle. Like nothing's touching you. So it has armor all over. Like it's dope. But don't buy it. This thing is trash. It has all it is it looks dope and it has the 50 cal on it from the insurgent it only takes one rocket to blow it up one rocket one grenade anything of that to blow it up it's total shit when it comes to explosives anything to blow it up so you will get blown up quick in it i mean some all someone has to do is run up on you with a sticky bomb in a fucking like anything you know what i mean if you get to, if you get that sticky bomb on them you already won so i would not get it this thing, I would not get it either. Something like six hundred thousand. I mean, I think it's kind of stupid. Personally, I just bought it get to buy it, but I would not buy this at all. I don't even know what the hell. Like, it doesn't really even do anything. I don't think. So I definitely wouldn't buy that. Is this worth it? I forget how much this is. I think it might be two point five million. Yeah, two point five million for this. Is it worth it? Yes. This, um, it's fast. Like way faster than that uh, van. It's fast. You could push anything out the way with this thing right here. This thing will push anything out the way. So it's very fast. And it pushes shit out the way with this. Like, no problem. You could pal up on the highway. Go right through it. No problem. Plus, you could have someone sitting right here in the middle where, like, the tractor trailer would hitch on. Someone could sit right there on the back, like, and get up there and um, have an RPG and just start shooting off of it. Two people on each side here, and I think maybe one up there. It's definitely a dope ass truck. You can have major explosives in it and shit, like, shooting off the back with RPGs. This car beats everything, dude. Not like in here, but I'm saying, like, it's one of the fastest cars in the game. Uh, it's like jet powered or whatever dope. It's like 3.5 billion. I believe or 3.7 very nice car though. I gotta admit um, 3.7 million. I think it is it is very dope um, Very fast when you hit that like you take off is it worth it? Yes I do think it's worth it if you like speed and you want to have some fun note you cannot use it in races so that's a bummer if you plan on if you're like one of those guys you think oh i'm gonna take it into a race it's worth it don't buy it because you can't use it in a race it's a free mode type car it's a car if, say you want to go hit the highway with your buddies you know you can have some dope ass fun and you could upgrade it you could upgrade this car right here you can upgrade this one you could upgrade the um camaro over there you got the Rebel. I don't know about the quad yet, but I need to take that to the custom shop still. But yeah, I recommend this car as long as you have free mode purposes with it to have fun. This car, it'll flip anything. Like, literally, I went, I go down the road that I could flip fucking Mack trucks, everything. Nothing stops this. The only thing that'll stop it is it can smoke. If you go, if you go under too many vehicles, it can smoke. That truck over there smokes too, though. If you run over too many vehicles, we'll just push them out the way. It doesn't run them over. If you push too many out the way, it starts smoking. If you run over too many cars in this, it starts smoking. So, everything in moderation, I guess you can say. So, this car, do I recommend buying it? Eh, fun to go under cars but I don't know how much this one is at all I forget how much is it three million one hundred thousand not worth it not worth it at all I would definitely get the Voltic instead or maybe the truck but 
if you're going for something like this I'd definitely just go with the Voltic or save up and get the uh, Runer but this is a decent car you can go under shit so I would not buy this if I were you unless you really want to go under shit bad but I wouldn't buy it on to the Runer this oh no we already did the Runer I think but as you see buy everywhere so a couple things I said not to get the quad I don't think you should get personally it's like two million dollars for this quad and I don't think it really does anything special but overall my favorite car would definitely be the um Runer it's just so nice has so many options so you can do that you can jump like real high in the air like that you can like you can jump over shit see that um you can do that it's like hit got rockets they only have eight rockets that's a bad thing you can see the rockets in the front see how they you only have eight so your rockets do go down, but you have unlimited machine gun ammo, and um, as well on top of the hopping and machine gun ammo and missiles and all that, you have a parachute. So I'll just demonstrate the parachute for you real quick. See that? And then bam. That's it for that. That rune is badass. Is it worth the five million? I say every penny. Get you where you need to be. It locks on. Do I have any missiles left? I've won. Only locked on to like other players and cops and stuff and helicopters and stuff like that. But it's still a very nice ride. Now I'm going to be getting back on to the cars. I have one more car left to do. And this is the Penetrator. Do I like it? Yes. It's a, based on a Jaguar, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I believe it is. From what I saw when I looked at it, it looked like a 90s Jaguar. I, I forget the exact name. It may be like a SQG or something. I forget the exact name, but I remember seeing it in a few drag racing games from back in the day and stuff like drag racer v3 and shit like it's the old 90s jaguar i believe if not early 2000s i doubt it's a brand new car it doesn't look aerodynamic at all it looks older 90s 2000s early 2000s stuff like that not too new but do i recommend it it's only 800,000. if you like the looks of it i say go for it. it's not too bad on speed not the best not the worst mediocre if you like the looks of it 800k is not too bad for it it's a decent price what i recommend getting it yeah I mean no complaints there so the only thing I really have complaints on is this thing right there that does nothing this van that's just my expectations would be way higher for the price tag on it about almost three million so that that the quad over there and I would not recommend the um, this thing whatever the hell it is that goes under cars the um, ramp car or whatever I would not recommend that either um all everything else pretty decent I think I need to touch on one more vehicle that I wouldn't recommend and it's the street bike that came in this update it's on Benny's it's only 160k but upgrading it costs money I forget how much not worth it just buy a Hakuchu all honesty not the drag Hakuchu just a regular Hakuchu and you'll be good so Yep. Ooh, shit. I was hitting the brake while I was on, too. Anyways, uh, that's really it. Like, I'm about to show you. Like, this car really gets it right here. Gotta recharge. Bam, bro. And then, like, if you just hit it from the start. Like, this car, I definitely like it, too. I believe it's the second most expensive. I could be wrong, though. See that, bro? Dude, you just take off. Like, no one gives a fuck. Oh, wait, I'll sit right behind this thing and just fucking. Yeah, boy. You don't fucking know. Haha, -ha, boy. Anyways, though, that's really it. All I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found interest in it. Buyer beware. Hope you liked it and everything. And then um, that'd really be it. Anyways, 
Peace, guys. Please sub and leave a like because it means a lot to me to grow the.